How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So you've downloaded the Tor browser and you're ready to go, but you want to maximize your security because obviously when you're using the Tor browser on its own, uh, your ISP can still tell that you're using your real IP address to access the Tor browser. And if you're in a country where maybe using the Tor browser could put you under the radar, you probably want to use a VPN, especially if you're some sort of journalist or um, a whistleblower. So before connecting to the Tor right here, I would just use the VPN and I'll just connect, let's say to, let's just look around for a server right here. The closer the server, the better. I'm somewhere in the European region. So I'm just going to connect to the French one, honestly. And once I'm connected, I can access the Tor uh, safely. Although you can definitely choose a location that is far away from your physical location for maximum security. Then you want to configure a few things in your Tor browser. So go to your settings here. And by the way, you can download Express in order. Search Shark from the links in the description down below. Um, you're going to have to get yourself a subscription first, obviously. And with the links in the description, you'll be able to claim an exclusive discount. And then you can download the VPNs and use your credentials to sign in. Okay. And once you have your VPN and you're connected, you can go to the settings on your Tor browser. Scroll down and make sure that this is ticked. So always use private browsing mode and then scroll all the way down. And here you can adjust the safety level or security level of the Tor browser. And yeah, all of these should be on by default. But again, you can go for the safest options. But some websites may be disabled if they use JavaScript. So just keep that in mind. And once you have all of these um, options selected, simply click off of here and just connect and you'll be able to establish the safest connection and your ISP won't be able to tell that you're accessing the Tor browser. Of course, even without a VPN, nobody will be able to tell what you're doing on the Tor browser, but without a VPN, the problem is uh, your ISP can still tell that you're using your real IP address to access the Tor browser. And even if you're using a proxy server, it's not encrypted, so it's not really safe. So it's better to encrypt your traffic using a VPN and a reliable VPN at that. And that's why I chose Express Nord and Surfshark. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features, so you can pick and choose depending on your situation and what you're looking for out of these VPNs. Express is going to be the best of the best overall. It's the easiest to use, most reliable and consistent. NordVPN is more of a well-rounded option that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. And Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost. Though all of them have a strict no locks policy, the necessary security features such as the kill switch and split tunneling and a handful of protocols, and they're all independently audited so you can be sure that they will not collect your information and sell it to third parties or give it up to governments. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.